Well, for those of you with a hornet problem, get yourself one of these, and I filled it up with liquid soap, and this is unbelievable. They are so persistent. I want you to see this guy. I thought they were gone, and I came out and I saw these little molehills, okay, just like this. This is what it looks like. And you got to catch them. I came out 8 o'clock in the morning, and I got one there. He died. He came out. I stepped on him. And then I saw another one right over here. Can't see him, but he went down into his hole and filled that up with soap. I haven't even seen him come out. I saw another one over here who was sniffing, and then he flew away. So if you have a hornet problem, a ground wasp hornet problem, you got to come out every day, number one. Get yourself one of these bottles. I'll put the links down in the description. Uh, you get two of them for 18 bucks on Amazon. But the trick is, you got to get them when they're in their nest. Now, this is the beginning of another one. I don't know if anybody's in there, but you're going to see what it's like if he is. You got to get right up on the nest. They, they dig a little hole. And it, they make it so easy to find because it's this nice, fresh pile of dirt. There's another one over there. I don't know if anybody's in there, but we're going to find out. It is, they are very, very persistent. This is not the first day. This is the first day that I've got the idea to go up to the hole. I've been just spraying water, wasp spray here and there. I've killed every one of their pile of nests. Not with them in it and not up close like this, but this is the day I got the idea to go right up to it. So here we go. Here's another. I'm going to look for the hole. There's the fresh pile of dirt. I don't see the hole, so I'm going to get right up on it. I don't know if anybody's going to come out of this or not, but you got to get right on it. And I know one's dead. Yesterday, I came out and did this, and one of them got out and did fly away. Hopefully, it's the one that I got. Seems like I'm running out of soapy water here. I don't think anybody was in this. It's unbelievable how persistent. This is like five times now, but finally I said I'm going to come right up to the nest and get them while they're in there, so you're going to have to get this close. But they go down in there. You got They crawl down in there, and as far as I can tell, I don't. I guess they, they would have multiple if the nest is big, but since I've been on top of this problem right away, I haven't seen more than one come out. Maybe the first day I saw a couple come out, more than one out of a nest. I think I'm out of soap here. Doesn't look like anybody's trying to come out anyway. But this is what it looks like, a fresh dirt pile. You've got to really look hard. It's, it's almost like they, I see them all over, so it's like, I wonder if they're just trying to build one and it's not a good spot, they move on. But as you can see, my lawn was neglected. Number one, they're looking for a neglected lawn. As you can see the area, they keep, they have not, they have been this area and nowhere else. Now look how neglected this area is. See right there we had two tree stumps removed. And that was a big pile about three days ago I took that pile away and that's what drew them all over. So don't, if you get a tree stump cut, don't leave it. Do not leave it. Okay, that's the first thing. Take care of your lawn is another thing. They are going to look for lawns. See all this bare ground? They want dry, bare ground. They don't like water. They certainly don't like soapy water. And I'm going to show you what they look like. They're huge. Right, he came out of it. He, he went down into his hole. So I, I ran and I was just watering my grass this morning. Here's another one. All right. Here's another hole. Now, before I spray that, I'm going to go get some more soapy water. But you want to survey the land. So these bottles, 
you can get on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description, like I said. Survey the land. Come out. So I've noticed that they've all stayed in this area. Now, I'm going to show you the rest of my lawn. Look, there's the, the lawns one. You know, I had grubs and everything. My lawn guy quit on me. And the lawn just went to crud. They did not... I've seen them buzzing around, but they never dug out there. It's like once they find their area, again, I'm not a professional, but this is what I've noticed, that they've all hovered in this area, which is away from the house. So, but what I've learned is you got to get soapy water and go right up to that. Look for those nests. Just survey the land. So I can see here, either they started to, dig see that fresh dirt that's what it looks like when you see that fine fresh dirt turn into a hill that's them and I, I do notice other bugs like ants so you got to just go through the area keep an eye I watch from a distance and every time I saw them out here flying maybe they started another one there and then they didn't like the ground so I think they're a little particular and you really got to look for those piles and then get out there with the soapy water and like one you can see the hole right there <clears throat> all right there was the pile was there and i got right up on that i didn't even see that guy try to come out but i saw him going in i saw the back end of him go down and in maybe he survived that if he survived all that soapy water then good for him but you're gonna have to keep watching the area and keep getting out there. I mean, you could call a professional. I don't think it's necessary if you're on top of it right away, right away. See, I mow my neighbor's lawn and I notice that she's got them all over and her lawn is not this one, not that one, the next one on the other side of the fence. And she had to call a professional. They were all over multiple multiple areas i hate it mowing that lawn i mean i'm just driving through them if you don't attack them they won't attack you this particular type i think they're called a ciata killer or something like that uh, but she walks right into the middle of a pile of them and they don't touch her because she doesn't attack them she just wanted to demonstrate to me so i just mow and i mow right through them and they come up to you and then they, you don't swing at them or anything or move and they go away but let me go get some more soapy water I don't know why this is working here see this it's pretty full you can see here I just don't know why the soap's not coming out maybe it's clogged all right well there's my tip for the day for anybody having a hornet problem get out there every day and get out there when they're in their nest this is eight o'clock 8 30 in the morning and they went down into there they were busy and that's when you got to sneak right up to that hole and just drench it with soapy water and it's worked great so far um, as you can see got one of them yeah, there he is and there's one now all right so i'm watching that guy i don't know if you can see him all right, so one came out of the ground. It might have been that nest that I'm ready about to get. So still got some work to do. All right, thanks, guys.